how to play Eyes and Teeth by High on Fire. For today's lesson, I'm playing a Woodwright Warlord in C standard tuning strung up with a set of 12 to 54 strings. For amplification today, we're using a green Mad Amp GT120. And to capture that early high on fire style guitar tone, we're running the Baghdad preamp into the front end of the amplifier. I've got the drive control on the preamp set at zero here, and then I've got the gain on the Mad Amp cranked way up. So essentially we're using the Soldano SP77 preamp section of the pedal to drive the input of the Mad Amp GT120. As always, you can download the interactive Guitar Pro and printable PDF tabs for this lesson and every other lesson on the channel on guitar, bass, and drums over at patreon.com slash does it do. guys another classic high on fire track here this one is once again in c standard tuning so we're tuned down four semitones from standard and we're playing in the key of c minor if this was standard tuning we'd be e minor but because we are tuned down those four semitones we are in c minor starts out with a really cool intro here matt plays the basically pulling notes from the blues scale starting on that flat fifth so it really sounds dissonant and it goes like this six three Ten six, and then we kind of move into this awesome section which is just really classic pike style high on fire where he's pulling off to the open note got that power chord at the 12th fret he used this technique just a ton in the early days you've got the perfect fifth interval and the root at that 12th fret To slide down to the flat fifth interval here at the sixth fret and play the same rhythm. So this next part here uses what I call pike power chord trills. Again, just a technique that he used early on a ton. It still uses live. He'll throw them in all over the place, but basically you're gonna take your root five power chord and you're gonna trill the minor second intervals. <laughs> And I don't think he hits those trills the last time before he slides down to this minor third, but. Next riff, we've got those pull-offs again. So just from the pentatonic scale there, root, flat seventh, minor third. So this would be natural minor here. This is a perfect fourth, a minor sixth, and a minor third. This brings us to the outro riff, which is just massive. The first half of it uses the natural minor scale and goes like this. So major second, minor third, perfect fourth, flat sixth, perfect fifth. Then this 
this is. Perfect fourth, perfect fifth, minor sixth, minor seventh. Then you put both those riffs together. Then you finish it off with one that's a little more dissonant. So this one uses the root, flat seventh, the major sixth, which just sounds pretty dissonant when you're in a minor scale, the perfect fifth, the flat fifth, which obviously very dissonant. Then you slide up here to the minor second. So all together. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new weekly videos. I want to send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.